Hello, welcome to a little demo as to how to use the fundraising calendar web to print system. First things first, let's get into our website, fundraisingcalendar.co.uk. Okay, here we are. This is our website. To get into the web to print, we need a client login. So I shall click on client login at the top right. Um, the username and password we will give to you. So I will put mine in here, which I happen to know is cypher.cal. my password in. And log in. And this will take us straight into a print portal. For the purposes of the demo, this is our test site. Um, once you have an account, you have your own site, so it's it's entirely yours. There'll be nothing else in there. Buy your stuff. Right, here are various things within this particular portal. Um, I will be using SchoolCal0012 for this test, so let's double click on that. Create new. And any moment now, there we are, the template will fire up. So at the moment it looks rather blank, that's the front cover of the uh, of the calendar. So theme colour is the first thing that we come across that we can change. That changes the, the theme colour, so that will also change in the months. So you can see that the month of February, the colour behind the weekend, the colour of the year and the colour behind the name changes throughout the calendar. So if I go back to the colour, let me choose a nice dark blue. What's that? In the next thing is school, class, charity, club, whatever. You can put the name, whatever name you wish to in here. So put this in. It doesn't matter if you type in lowercase because we've uh, made it capitalise everything. So if I put in School and refresh. You can see it's we'll put it all in capitals there. Um, that is a given font. Now, if you have a very big name, so if I copy and paste that and refresh that, you can see that it still fits the box, but it's just made the font size smaller. So. Um, if your school club, whatever, has a large name, it will fit in. But just bear in mind, if you put too much in there, the font ends up being extremely small. So just beware what you're putting in and do make sure you're happy when you've finished. So let's just put school in there. OK, in this space where you can't see it, we will add an image. Um, so once we've pressed add image, this window opens up. Now let's go to upload. Choose a file which is on my C drive. Let's use kids in school and open that one. Confirm the upload and it will now upload that image um, into, into the website. So let's just wait a moment whilst it uploads and then see what it has to say next. Okay, so kids in school, double click on it. Right, this window effectively is telling us that the picture is not in the right proportion to fit the image size of the calendar. So we will need to crop it. So the tools down the left hand side here, we need to select crop image. Um, once we've selected that, the datum point is at the top left of the picture. So we pull that out there and adjust which piece we want. And you can see on this left-hand window, it actually shows you what the crop will be. So if I OK that, are you sure? OK. That's now cropping it. And we can now select this file. And it will pop it right in there. Perfect. Uh, the next thing is, though you can't see it, we will have a I haven't got a school logo because um, 
that would be unfair to use a school who isn't a customer or indeed who is a customer so let's upload a logo this needs to be in jpeg format so let's pick that one confirm upload and again it's uploaded that uh, to the website double click on that now this again is a jpeg but this part of the program is suggesting that the image isn't of good enough quality uh, in this case it's it's there's not enough pixels in the image now you can either delete this and upload another one um, or allow it through we've decided that we can allow it through here because sometimes the logos simply aren't good enough um, and you have to go with what you've been supplied by either the, a school or by a sponsor so say so sometimes we haven't got perfect results but we have to use what we're given and the last thing we can change is text color which changes the color of the word school between black and white so we tend to use white on the dark background and black on the light background so that's the cover done if we move to january and we've got pretty much the same thing so if i add image I will upload an image, but I will upload the same image because I know it's a bit easier than searching around for another one. So let's just upload Kids in School again, just for the purposes of demo. Let's confirm the upload. And it will upload another version of the picture because it might need to crop it in a slightly different way from the original. So there he is again, Kids in School. Again, it's suggesting that the crop isn't quite right, so we crop the image. Again, pull it out, you can see it's a slightly different size. That's okay, that's are you sure? Okay. And once again, we get to select the file and it drops it bob in there. The next thing you have is you can make comments. So if you want to say who the children are, where they are, whatever you want to put in here, What should we say? Joe in class four. Let's refresh that. And again, it puts it in there, Joe in class four. We haven't capitalized that, so if you want a capital letter at the start, uh, please type it in. Again, if I copy and paste that, will fill the box and the same will apply the font will go smaller if you have to fill the box let's see if we can fill the box no well believe me it happens if let's, let's see if we can awful lot of text in here so if you get that much you're going well but now you can see it's made the font smaller it still fits in the box still one line but just made the font smaller so again just beware or be be aware of what you're putting in there um another thing to note the sponsor i put in this well, sorry the school logo i put in on the front cover repeats um, in the middle of the calendar in a tint so it doesn't interfere with people writing in there, but it's just a, it's just a nice design touch. Next thing is to add a sponsor image. So let's upload again another. Uh, let's use Cipher. Again, it's a JPEG. Confirm upload. It's now uploading that to the website. Uh, once again, double click on it. There we are. Uh, same as, as earlier. It isn't actually big enough, but we're going to let this one through again. Otherwise, we'll be all year waiting for a one that's good enough. You can see it's also added the word proud sponsor. So if there's a logo there, it prints proud sponsor. If there isn't a logo there, it prints nothing. So let's just do that again. Let's upload another logo and I'll use the fundraising calendar one again. 
upload that. There it is again, so let's just click on that, select this file because we're happy with that, and it will pop it in next to the Cypher logo. So there we are. We have January with the school name at the top, a comment on the picture, the picture, uh, month, repeat logo, two sponsor logos, uh, the year, and uh, tin behind the months, behind the weekend, sorry. So if we go to February, again, you can see it's exactly the same layout, exactly the same applies. Um, I will upload Kids in School again, again, just to show you what's going on. click and it's exactly the same situation. Crop image. So you just keep doing this throughout the calendar. Select the file. You can have a different caption in here. It doesn't have to be the same one throughout the whole calendar obviously so each photo can have its own caption you can upload different sponsor logos should you wish um, the an important feature of the whole thing is this little logo here which is the uh, adobe acrobat logo if we click on that it creates a proof on the fly so you can check your work we'll say proof through the middle of it so you can see um, exactly what's going on. So that's just made a, the proof of um, for February. If I save as, so let's go back to that. Let's go back to January. see the proof of there we are so we've got the, there's the cover there's January there's February so far we didn't finish it and there's the other months not finished you can see at the top of the screen it's scrolling through the numbers so it's a 13 page PDF um, you can actually download it by clicking there sorry I'm I, I've got it wrong. That's to print it. So let's cancel that. That's the download one. So then you can download it to your uh, desktop or somewhere on your computer. So let's cancel that as well. Get rid of that. And that essentially is how you create a calendar. If I save that as, for the sake of argument, test, save. I'll put it somewhere else if you want to order that one. Click on order. Uh, that shows you what you've done. We've got no prices in here because it's purely a test one, but if I put 50 in there and add to basket, that is the ordering process underway. So we've got 50 of those, you're ordering 50 of those in there, proceed to check out. There's nothing in here complete. That's just rubbish, so you can put any old address in there. Invoice address, all this will be pre-populated with your own details so that when you do order, uh, the invoice will be generated to yourself and the delivery address will be in wherever you want the deliveries to go to. Um, then go to checkout, and effectively you won't check out because, as I say, all those things aren't uh, aren't there. But that is how you create a calendar uh, with fundraising calendars.